All right, you guys, today, wait, are you, is it got, yeah? Do you want a blooper? Yeah. You, you really do? Blooper. Well, I don't have one. That's a pretty funny blooper. <laughs> <laughs> you guys today we're gonna to look at another mini for sale this is a 1966 Austin Mini Cooper it is a genuine Mini Cooper it is not a replica a clone or a, a fake one in any way this is the real deal and it belongs to our friends Terry and Cami Reese out of California and uh, we've done some wonderful things to it they've done some wonderful things to it and I'm gonna show you all about it the car is twenty five thousand dollars and that is a smoking deal for a whole lot of Mini Cooper. So let's, uh, let's do a walk and talk and let's talk about some of the features and benefits of this car, okay? Well, we're at the front of the car. The bonnet's open, so let's take a look. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that we did do a bonnet soundproofing kit in here, and that really does make a difference. I love the bonnet sound. Uh, makes it so much more comfortable inside the car. Uh, what we have here is a 1275 Austin America motor. It is a smog port cylinder head, but it's been reworked. It's ported with big valves. Uh, we've got a shiny mini fin alloy valve cover on there. Twin inch and a quarter SU carburetors with the factory Cooper's air cleaner. That, those air cleaners are so sought after these days and so expensive, really hard to find those. So uh, that's a really valuable part on this car. Um, Everything's been rebuilt. Uh, it's really a tight running motor. I'll show you because we're going to go for a ride and you'll see just how powerful, clean and uh, nice this thing really is. Uh, it has a brand new alternator on it, a brand new fan belt, brand new fan, brand new alloy, super cool uh, radiator, new thermostat, new thermostat housing, all new hardware, uh, new voltage regulator. This is a dummy voltage regulator for the alternator and uh, those are kind of expensive. Uh, it has a catch tank for the uh, alloy radiator. Radiator. Um, lots of new parts. Uh, new Pertronics ignition with Pertronics coil, plugs and wires. Uh, we adjusted the valves, uh, torqued the head. Um, this thing runs amazing. This is a really a nice car. Uh, let's look at some more of the cool stuff. Of course, the Mark I Austin Cooper badge. This is a 66 Mark I Mini, uh, so that's really important. Uh, we've got Hella H4 headlight housings with LEDs in there. Really bright PIA LEDs. Uh, we've got, of course, the Austin grill with the Austin Mark I mustache. Brand new bumpers with bumper overriders and cor uh, corner bars. I really like this European front license plate holder with a cut California plate, a black plate. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it does have the front tie downs on the front. It also has rear tie downs. Uh, some of the Jet Motors tie downs, of course. Come on around here. Let's keep walking around this car. New deluxe trim all the way around the car. Brand new Cooper wheels with Yokohama A008 tires. We've got Cooper S disc brakes under there, not the 997 or the 998 brakes. Those are the bigger Cooper S brakes with green stuff pads, okay? So this is a real Cooper, so you can see the genuine stainless trim up over the uh, windows. Uh, that's really important. I love the non-safety bumper uh, Mark I door handles. This, this is a real Cooper, guys. I don't know how I can stress that to you because these are incredibly rare. Uh, when we go back in the shop, I'll open up the book and we'll see how many they actually made of these, okay? Um, come on around here and let's keep looking at all this cool stuff. Uh, brand new rear bumper with uh, uh, corner bars and overriders. Uh, swinging hinged license plate with the North American license drop bracket. Now this is a North American only part because of course the U.S. license plate is uh, of course uh, taller than the European plate so they made this 
North American uh, license plate bracket just for the license lamp. So it still swung and still hinged. Um, if we look back here, beautiful boot board with a single tank. It is just a Mini Cooper. All right, let's take a look under the boot board and see how it looks. We've got a new battery with a battery cutoff and a new battery ground strap. Uh, a Cooper wheel back here with a brand new Yokohama A008 tire. There's no rust on this car. This is a rust-free Mark I Mini Cooper. That's huge. That's really important, guys. So let's take a look here. Here we go. Come on around here and we'll keep looking here. So obviously this is a right-hand drive model. Uh, I'll grab the heritage certificate, but here's what's really neat about this car. This is a really rare Cooper because it is a mono black Mini. See how it's all black inside? Well, somebody did a tape line and what they did was they painted the car silver. The, the paint is excellent. It is new. I just don't like the color. I wish it was all black just like this. This was a mono black car. Here, I'll grab the heritage certificate. Take a look at this. So what we have here is this is an Austin Mini Cooper Mark 1998. Here's the VIN, CA2S7. There's no L because it's not a left-hand drive. This is a right-hand drive car, okay? There's the engine number, body's a 56161. Right-hand drive, home market, deluxe. Now here's the big one, black monotone. That is so rare, you guys. That is incredibly rare. Still has the red and gold brocade seats in it. Uh, the, the top is black, so it's not applicable because it is monotone. All right. The car was built on the 13th of July, 1966. Dispatched the 14th of July, 1966. Well, they built it in one day. <laughs> uh, it was destined for London. Um, it, ooh, we had an optional fresh air heater. Oh, how nice is that? Anyway, if you bought this car, boy, oh boy, save up some money and you don't have to really rip it all apart because the interior and everything's still black. See this? All you gotta do is tape line the doors and paint it black. It should be black. There's nothing wrong with this paint. It is gorgeous, it's pretty. I just wish it was back in its original uh, colors the way it was supposed to be. Um, all right, well, come on around here. Oh, I'm sorry, let's show you some more features on the inside. We've got a Roki walnut wood dashboard, a really cool vintage steering wheel with functioning horn. Of course, you got the Mark I turn signal stock with the blinking green light on the end um, and the black carpet with the gold brocade seats front and rear. Take a look at the headliner. Look how nice the headliner is in this car with functioning dome light. Here, I'll turn it on and off. See that? See? So uh, it's gorgeous. There's no rips. There's no tears. The car smells good. It's clean. There's no rust. And it has the big motor, big brakes. Of course, that's not the original 998 motor, but so what? You really want the big motor and the big brakes. I know the purists out there are saying, oh, I wish it had the original 998 brakes on it or the 998 motor. In North America, in the United States, look, you need to be able to cruise at 65, 70 miles an hour on the freeway. This car does that all day long and you can stop on a dime, so that's huge. You wanna find out? I think you do. I'll show you. Let's go for a ride. Okay, what we have here is a 1966 Austin Mini Cooper. Uh, this is a real one. It's $25,000. And uh, I love this formula steering wheel. Now, these steering wheels are made by a company called Formula. And these are a 1960s period correct steering wheel. Uh, they were sold at Speedwell. Uh, you know, this was a period correct hot rod thing that you would have done. You would have put this steering wheel in, in your car. I, I love it. I think it's really cool. The horn works. Um, and then uh, we've got this locking steering column. This is really unique in that I have not seen this very often. I think I've seen it once before. A really neat looking key and a locking steering column and the ignition switch is down there. Uh, I like what they did here is normally the ignition switch would be right here on the switch panel, but they put in a cigarette lighter. <laughs> let's go ahead and make it work. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, we got our choke here, our wipers, our headlights, and our heater control. And this heater works really good. 
Um, there it is. Ooh, it's hot. Wow. Hey, it works. So you've got a 12 volt power supply there you can use for your cell phones or your GPS. Um, but hey, are you guys ready? Let's go for a ride. So this is a cold start. It's a very cold day here in Portland, Oregon. It's about 37 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, so let's see how it cold starts. I'm not making this up. I just rolled it out of the shop, pull the choke, put it in neutral. Ooh, fired right up. See, gauge is ice cold. Um, got about a hundred pounds of oil pressure. Put the choke in, keep it alive with my foot. It will idle, it's cold. Check that out. We got a working horn, working heater. That's eh, cold, but it, it's blowing pretty good. So let's get some heat built. We're, we're good. <laughs> um, Keith looked at me because I honked the horn. Um, uh, glove boxes with a parcel tray and places to put your stuff. Uh, lots of sound deadening in this car. I want to showcase how comfortable and how quiet this car is. Uh, let's turn the headlights on. There's our running lights. There's our headlights. Voila. Let's build a little heat up in it. Uh, working windows and door. These are all brand new. Look, new draft excluders, new window locks and latches. The chrome is bright and shiny. It's not uh, dull or uh, showing any age at all. Uh, I'm going to adjust the mirror here. Look at that. Working, functioning, sliding windows and locks. Hey, I know that sounds strange, but in the classic mini world, most of these sliding windows, uh, they don't work so well. They, even if you replace them, they're really tight and new. And uh, I can see that these have been replaced at one time, but it is with the original rigid felts, which is really good. And they work really nice. So um, everything on this car works. Look, turn signals, left turn, right turn with the little blinky green light. Uh, they do cancel. I'll showcase that when we get going. Uh, but here we go. All right, let's go for a drive. It is a four speed, four synchro gearbox with what feels to me like a three, four, four final drive. Um, everything in this car works really nice. The engine is extremely strong, shows no signs of oil leaks or uh, smoking. It's fresh. This is a really fresh motor. I think it was bored 20 over. So it's a 1293, um, four speed, four synchro remote gearbox, which is correct, uh, not a rod change. Um, I love the uh, genuine Cooper speedometer, water temperature, and oil pressure. Uh, those have never been replaced. Those are original and work. Right now, this is showing 81,437 miles. Uh, that's probably right. Uh, not for the motor, of course. Originally, it had a 998 in it. As you know, I said uh, it's been replaced, uh, but it's very healthy and very strong. The hydro suspension in this car is magic. All right, we serviced it. Uh, we evacuated the system and uh, pressurized it and pumped it up. It does not leak. It is in superior condition. It's really, really nice. Uh, original to this car, hasn't been replaced. Um, and it's working really well. If you haven't driven a hydro car, I've mentioned this in the past, it's awesome. You, it just feels like a magic carpet. Listen to how quiet it is in this car. Um, surprisingly, no rattles, thunks, bonks, uh, bangs. It's just, and it's just really quiet. Uh, I like that. This is a very comfortable car. Um, it does cruise on the freeway at 65, 70 all day, which is what you got to do in California. This is a California car here. Oh boy. It's, it's very strong. 
This car is really quick. Uh, brakes are outstanding. I love the brakes. It's got green stuff pads on the front, Mintex shoes on the rear with alloy Superfin drums with the built-in spacer. Look at this. This car is doing everything right. Look, fingertips on the steering wheel. Straight as an arrow. It doesn't pull under braking. This is nice. Really nice. For $25,000, you cannot beat this. You can't build a car like this with that kind of money. Uh, you can't paint one or build an engine for that. So, come on, people. This is a real bargain for a genuine Mark 1 1966 right-hand drive Austin Mini Cooper. Uh, big motor, big brakes, all original interior, the way it's supposed to be. I love the little blinky light on the uh, turn signal stock. That's so cool. And watch. Hey, it canceled. Uh, the transmission is silk. For a remote gearbox, I mean, that's incredible. Watch. Now, this is a remote transmission, not a rod change, and I'm just gonna use my fingertips. Hey, gosh, that's nice. Look at this. Functioning dome light, huh? It looks like they put an LED bulb in there. It's really bright. You know, I would have to say this car is just about perfect, except for one thing. Gosh darn it, I wish it was black. Black on black on black. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if it was back in black? <laughs> of course. Yeah, look at this. Uphill, not pulling. This is so awesome, you guys. If you need a Mini Cooper in your collection or you just want a really good original Mark I Mini Cooper, this is it, you guys. $25,000, you cannot beat it. That is, <laughs> you know, I bet you if we were to appraise this car for Haggerty or somebody, I'd say I would probably appraise it at 37,000. Um, so this is a bargain. Uh, it's, you know, Terry and Cammie Reese are selling it. They've got other things to do, other cars. Uh, th this is a car they loved. Don't get me wrong. This is something that is very hard for them to part with. Um, but they did realize that it's somebody else's turn and that somebody is you. So uh, again, $25,000 for a 1966 right-hand drive Mini Cooper. This is your next car. Don't pass this up. If it doesn't sell by the end of the year, we're going to hang on to it until spring. And if we do, we're going to put it out there for $28,000. So this is your chance to save yourself $3,000 and give yourself a Christmas present. Buy this car now. Call me right away. This is not going to last. This is the one for you. All right, you guys. We'll see you on the next one.